Hello and welcome to The Print. I'm Akanksha Mishra and this is Scientifics where I will be taking you through this week's top science news from across the world. Today's first story is based on a report by the Copernicus Climate Change Service which is the European Union's Earth Observation Program. In a report released on 10th January, the institution confirmed that 2024 is the first calendar year when the average global temperature was more than 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels which was the limit set by the Paris Agreement in 2015. While one year of temperatures above the limit does not necessarily mean that we have officially breached it, scientists are worried that we are getting dangerously close. With an average 15.10 degrees Celsius global temperature, 2024 became the hottest year on record, breaking 2023's record. In fact, from 2015 to 2024, every year has been the warmest year on record and anthropogenic climate change was the primary reason for this. On 17 July, 44% of the world was under strong or extreme heat stress, which was a new annual maximum record. The C3S report pointed towards increasing greenhouse gases released by fossil fuels that have directly led to the rising temperatures. Our next story is a study by the University of Liverpool that sought to analyse how good the early human ancestors Australopithecus afarensis were at running. A paper published in Current Biology this week looked at computer simulations of running abilities of these early humans using the skeletal remains of possibly the most famous Australopithecine fossil of all time, Lucy. Lucy is an early Australopithecine who was discovered 50 years ago and is dated to at least 3 million years ago. Her skeleton's discovery in Ethiopia proved that early humans walked on two legs. But whether they had the ability to run or not like modern humans was still a mystery. By simulating a digital picture of Lucy's skeleton, Liverpool scientists concluded that the ability of the Australopithecus to run was very limited estimated at around 11 miles per hour, which modern humans can run up to 20 miles per hour. This study also sheds light on how the evolution beyond Australopithecus to Homo sapiens involved developing our anatomy to help us with running. Moving on, let's look at the results from the World Health Organization's Global Tuberculosis Report, which said that India continued to be the number one country with the highest incidence of tuberculosis accounting for 26% of the global share. In fact, India's total cases in 2023 increased by 5% as compared to 2015. There were a total of 10.5 million new TB cases reported in 2023 and a total of 1.25 million TB-related deaths in 2023 worldwide, according to the report, which shows a marginal decline compared to the past two years. However, there is a growing concern of drug-resistant tuberculosis in the world, with 3.7% of all new TB cases being the multi-drug-resistant kind. Especially in China, the drug-resistant kind of tuberculosis is quite prevalent, with over 7% of all global drug-resistant TB cases being in China. However, the study also said that WHO is funding efforts to end TB with a new five-year-long initiative that was started in 2023 which says that every year at least one new TB vaccine should be approved. Coming on to our final story, scientists have proposed a new UN Sustainable Development Goal, SDG, to protect the Earth's space from growing debris. Published in One Earth, experts highlighted growing concerns over the environmental impact of satellite activity with nearly 20,000 satellites having been launched since the 1950s. When they are abandoned, satellites and other space debris increase the risk of collisions, creating further waste in the orbit. The proposed SDG 18 is modelled around SDG 14, which is to prevent marine pollution. And it would aim to establish global agreements for space debris management by taking lessons from marine conservation. This goal would complement existing SDGs, which as of now focus only on space technology's benefits, but overlook the environmental risks associated with it. Led by Dr. Imogen Napper of University of Plymouth, the study emphasizes the urgent need for coordinated action. Researchers warn that unregulated satellite deployment could repeat the past mistakes seen in marine pollution, threatening Earth's orbital environment. That's all we have for today. Tune into the print for more such analysis.